who was the Buddha. The Buddha was a human being, like you and I. He was a Hindu, but instead of taking his religion on faith, he decided to seek his own answers. What he found were the same answers available to any of us. The Buddha realized that life involves psychological suffering. The cause of this suffering is ignorance of reality, and there is a way to reduce this suffering. The way to reduce psychological suffering is to become conscious of reality. In Zen, one becomes conscious of reality by seeing directly into the nature of things. Reality is infinite and unified. Although things appear separate, they really aren't. Everything depends on everything else for its existence. Change and impermanence is the nature of conditional things, because only the unconditioned infinite whole is permanent and unchanging. Anything that is a thing is subject to change and impermanence. Only the infinite whole is everlasting. The Buddha understood that when we realize this, we can begin to let go of our attachments to impermanent things and begin to become conscious of that which is not a thing, which is really the source and essence of all things. In Buddhism, this unchanging source is called emptiness. In the Heart Sutra, a central Buddhist text, it is stated that emptiness is form and form is emptiness. By becoming conscious of emptiness, we become conscious of form and attain a direct experience of reality, unclouded by attachments, concepts, and delusions. Reality is not what we think it is. Thoughts and concepts about reality are things, and we must let go of our attachment to things and become conscious of emptiness. By doing so, we also become conscious of form and ordinary condition reality. This is the essential paradox of Zen. The paradox is resolved by understanding that Zen is now. Direct mindful awareness of the world without clinging or aversion to our thoughts is the realization of non-attachment in daily life. This is why it is said in Zen that both before and after awakening, we chop wood and carry water.